I'm the middle kid, the middle kid of a man, of a single mom. I was born in Northside Richmond. I've lived in Henrico for 20 years. I saw my first dead body when I was 12 years old. It was a mistaken identity where some coward killed another human being because he thought that he disrespected his cousin. I've lost a brother to violence. I had no interest in guns growing up unless it was a BB or cap gun. I never wanted to hunt, never wanted to actually own a firearm. This changed when I moved into a townhouse near the Richmond Raceway. One night I was awakened, my neighbor had someone beating on his door. I looked out the window. There was someone in a vehicle with the engine running. There was a guy in front of it with a shotgun. There was another guy beating on the front door with a semi-automatic handgun and another one going to the back door. I called the police. Long story short, the response time was 15 and 20 minutes. The perpetrators had left before the police got there. Luckily, the neighbor never opened the door. But what made me purchase a firearm was that the fact when I went back to my upstairs bedroom, I heard the police officer ask over the radio who called in the call and they gave him my address and name. So that's when I bought my first firearm and took my first training course. I spent the night at my mom's house one night after that in Richmond. I woke into three guys stripping a car in front of her house. I called the police. Response time was 30 minutes. The perpetrators had left three times from that car and came back before the police showed up. Luckily, they were still there and they caught them. I have zero confidence in the governor, our current governor. He's a, he, I feel that he's attempting to repair his image by promising everything but the kitchen sink. He's in, endorsed infanticide, giving land to an Indian tribe that was promised by the Brits before America was even formed. And now he wants to ruin the economy of Virginia by bringing tens of thousands of refugees here in one bunch. What would that do to our school systems? No confidence whatsoever. Our leadership in the General Assembly fares, fares a little better. They want to ban weapons with thumb holes, folding stocks, threaded barrels, chokes, magazines. that pretty much covers all firearms that are worth anything, including shotguns and rifles. Red flag laws bring armed citizens into confrontations with our police officers, and that never turns out well. I've been stopped personally for driving while black four times. Each time, my coworkers didn't understand why I was upset. I was upset, not because I felt like the officer was going to shoot me or anything like that, but because it could, there was a potential that I could be shot. A red flag law is bringing it back. Red flag laws will also be abused by groups such as Antifa and the resist people who believe in their model being any means necessary to disarm you or to get their point of view across. In Maryland, in August, a citizen was killed because of a red flag law. Why do I need an AR with 30 rounds? I only target practice enough to train. I don't hunt. I wouldn't necessarily have it as my go-to gun if somebody kicked my door in. That's not what I would use it for. I need it because the Second Amendment says my rights shall not be infringed. Today we have presidential candidates promising everything for free. Where's that money going to come from? How are you going to get it? Today we have congresswomen telling us we can't eat this food or we can't eat that food because it's bad for the environment. How are you going to make me not eat that food? Today we have congresspersons telling us to get in the face of our political opponents. Today we have the IRS being weaponized against nonprofit groups, turning their, their tax-exempt status because of their political beliefs. Today we have the FBI, the CIA, running illegal ops against American citizens. <laughs> Yet I hear some people still continue to say, we don't need the Constitution anymore. <coughs> There's no more tyranny.
But I digress. I ask you today to protect me and my family. You're charged with the citizens of Henrico County. I don't want to end up a statistic. I don't want to be murdered because some activist gave a judge my name and he appointed some officer to come and kick my door in at three in the morning and I'm unaware of why someone's kicking my door in and I end up a statistic. Mr. Holmes, uh, you're at the six minute mark. I'm going to ask Sorry, you. Sir. Thank Bring you. it on home. Yes, sir. Can I wrap it up? Uh, yeah, if it can Thank in about you. 10 okay. seconds. Yes. So I ask you to protect me. I ask you to make Henrico a Second Amendment sanctuary county. I ask you to do this not in defiance of the state, but to send the state a message that we stand united and that we support our citizens. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it moving. So um, next, Mr. Manager. Next. Yeah.